I forget the guy's name, but you had one fight where you literally crumpled him in half in the UFC. Uh, what was that knockout like? He he folded up like a lawn chair. Yes, that was uh, Steve Nelmark. And uh, lo and behold, he was an alternate because I was supposed to fight Ken Shamrock, uh, just like I was supposed to fight him a couple times. And every time we were matched up, he he something happened to him. He couldn't continue to fight. So Nelmark stepped in and took the beating for Ken because I would have done the same thing to Ken. Have you heard about this bare knuckle promotion Ken is trying to start off now? Uh, I have heard of it. And this, they were entertaining the thought of having me be involved in that. And I'm like, I'm the first guy that brought the gloves to the UFC. And um, you want me to now say uh, bare knuckle? I don't think it works that way. I, I'm not a sellout, a fake, a phony. I, and so I guess they found one in Ken. And, uh, <laughs> and so Ken's doing it, I guess. I haven't heard anything of it. They just have made an announcement. It's kind of like that Combate fight with Tito. I would be amazed if it ever happened. And maybe it will, but it, it seems kind of uh, on shaky ground. I know Campbell used to be involved in the first UFC uh, semaphore. And um, I guess his record speaks for itself as far as fight promotions go. And I'm not in including the first UFC I'm I'm talking since that dissolved his record speaks for itself from that point on and so I'd be amazed if the fight happens and I would be more amazed if 10 people bought it or showed up did you hear that Shamrock and Severn had a pro wrestling match in Australia recently and it went to a no contest I think they they each, each will probably have a hard time doing the job in that one Oh, I know what you mean by the job, but I think the harder part of the job would be an actual job of them shooting a promo. It'd be as... (laughs) (laughs) Did WWE ever approach you about fighting Shamrock in uh, pro wrestling? Because it seems like you would have been a natural to go there after WCW close. Yeah, um, after WCW closed, um, I don't, I just kind of fell off the face of the earth at that time. I don't know if it was just me uh, mentally, you know, sometimes I just want to be alone. And so I I took some time off and uh, I never really had discussions with the, with the up north, as they say. Um, although I never, uh, went there to talk to them or say, Hey, I was interested or anything. So yeah, you would think it'd be, uh, something that they would want to pursue, but you know how political that whole business is. So I, I don't know what ever happened on any, any level. So like I said, I, I was ready for a break and uh, recharge my batteries and find out who I was as a person. And uh, I was pretty much uh, going down that road until the, the liver gave out. So, But everything happens for a reason, and I'm bouncing back stronger than ever. They're headed. New liver, new kidney, feeling great, feeling better than I did before. And uh, I'm not done with my life's work here, so who knows what's next?